Mamba Bricks movie, scene six, take three, action. Time's up, Billet Bricks. Either you hand over the cash, or you're gonna start losing some fingers. Oh, Tony, I, I, I don't have it right now. I'll, I'll have it too tomorrow. I'll sell all my Legos, I swear, I swear. Don't cut off my fingers. You better leave my partner alone, Tony. Hey, Tony Two Fingers, how you doing? How's your mother? Anybody ever tell you to pick on somebody your own size? Oh, I hate it when people call me Tony Two Fingers. We all got two fingers. Except for the people I cut the fingers off. Oh yeah, Tony. Have you ever heard of this saying, never bring an axe to a grappling hook fight? Cut. That's a wrap, guys. Well done. All right. Can't wait to see this movie. All right, all right, all right. What to do, my fellow mushy blobs of Universe Glitter? My name is Hans, father of the plants, always hoarding all the teal bricks, and berserk for Legos. Today I'm going to show you my Palace Cinema Remock and what happens when you got an extra six studs of space to work with. So kick back, grab your popcorn snacks, and let's watch this movie. All right, I've been teasing this Palace Cinema the last couple of videos, and now it's here. I finally get to show you guys all the neat stuff that I've done to it. Obviously, this is the Palace Cinema, one of the modulars, 10232. And I've built this Palace Cinema to go in my upcoming LEGO city, Paradisa City, which is a tropical city of the future in the year 2060. And if you want to know a bit more about my Paradisa City and the plans that I have for it, definitely go check out my Road Plates video where I talk about the city layout and a couple of modes of transportation that make it unique. Now, this is sort of a part two because a couple of weeks ago I posted a video on the Palace Cinema Libo and how I remocked it and that video is part one so definitely go check that out this is a really cool limo but we're not going to talk about that today all right so let's break it down first things first I'm going to talk about major changes that I did as well as the walkable pathway that I've built around the palace cinema I'll give a tour of the outside of the building and then last I'll give a tour of the inside of the two floors now the first thing I want to mention is that the palace cinema has been kept on its 32 by 32 original base plate the reason for that is in Paradisa City I'm going to constrain all my buildings to either 32 by 32 base plates or 48 by 48 base plates. Now a couple of years ago when I was daydreaming about building my own Lego city I saw a lot of cool Lego cities where you know they've got the Grand Emporium they got like two or three Grand Emporiums side by side and it looks like this massive amazing building I was like oh my gosh that's so cool I really want to do something like that too. And the same thing with my Lego hospital. Originally my Lego hospital the way I had planned to build it was on two 48 by 48 base plates and it would have been crazy big and what I ended up doing there was I said okay well I think I can actually you know make the floor smaller but build more floors to encompass all the different departments that I wanted my Lego hospital to have. But as I begin to plan, Parity the City, all the same factors apply with constraints on space. And another thing that I'm doing is I'm completely revolutionizing the way transportation works. There isn't going to be cars. Most of the roads that are going to be between buildings aren't even going to be roads at all. They're going to be walkable pathways. And that saves me more space because instead of having a very wide road or a road and a sidewalk, I can now make the streets be between all my buildings in Paradisa City a lot more narrow. And because these are walkable pathways, I get to save space even on having to build sidewalks. The walkable pathway replaces the whole concept of a sidewalk completely. And here this walkable pathway is 16 studs added to the 32 by 32 base plate. In a lot of cases, I'm actually gonna go even narrower than that. Maybe like 12 studs or 14 studs wide. And so my city is gonna be very space efficient in that way. Now, one thing that I've always been curious with when I started buying the Creator Expert modular was as I was building them, I would see just how cramped and tiny some of the space was inside the buildings. And I thought, man, I could easily expand this by an extra four studs or six studs. That would be just enough room to give the minifigures a little bit more uh, versatility and get more functioning features in there. And this... Palace Cinema is my very first experiment with expanding a modular by only six extra studs and seeing what that gives me. And I gotta tell you, I am super impressed with how much features I was able to get by only adding six studs in either direction. And I can't wait to show you guys. All right, so now that I was able to eliminate the sidewalk off of the 32 by 32 base plate, that's what gave me the extra six studs of space. And a lot of that sidewalk was for the Hollywood stars embedded into the sidewalk. And I was able to move those Hollywood stars right into the middle of the walkable pathway. And I really like how it turned out because you imagine this place as being a fun hangout spot for a lot of minifigures, uh, enjoying the evening on a weekend, going to watch the movies. I imagine there's going to be some food vendors out here in this little area, some late night hot dog carts or taco truck or a little pizza vendor parked along this pathway. Just people able to mingle and enjoy the experience right in front of this palace cinema. And of course, whenever there's a movie premiere, then the walkable pathway can be closed off and uh, celebrities 
Paradise can roll up in their limousine cars and get the red carpet treatment right there. Now, Paradisa City is a tropical city, and it's going to be covered in plants. And I've definitely gave the Palace Cinema, as well as the walkable pathway, a good dose of tropical plants. You've got tropical trees there, a lot of tropical plants off to the side. you got tropical bird nest ferns growing on the side of the building. And the thing that I decided to do was to keep this gray pattern in the sidewalk that was from the original set and had the Hollywood star in the middle. And then I've added these opalescent one by one round tiles, as well as the sparkling translucent pink one by one round tiles. And one of my inspirations for my Paradisa City, City of the Future, is going to be the architectural lighting that I would like to try and add to a lot of my buildings. And the inspiration for that is if you were to look at the Tron movies, almost every object has an aesthetic pattern of light that makes things really appealing to look at at night. Another source of inspiration that you'll see in Paradisa City is from Westworld Season 3, where you see a little bit of futuristic tech and mobility in that show. Although I did round the corners off with the one by one semicircle tile. And I've got the Hollywood stars going down the pathway that way as well as that way. And for the red carpet, I've added three six by six red tiles right there to appear as the, the red carpet. And what it really is is just pavement that has been uh, infused with red dye in it. Now I took the movie projector that was originally in the theater room and I've kind of added it out here as not a, a projector but as a classic movie film camera. And then over here I've added the two spotlights that will shine upwards and illuminate the building as well as like streak the sky with the uh, the flood lamps. Another thing I wanted to show you is a really cool Joshua Dr. Seuss looking tree that I was able to make using the burnt orange branch pieces as well as the green minifigure hair pieces. I really like how this came out. It's kind of symbolic of the desert Joshua trees down in Joshua Tree National Park, which is one of my favorite places to visit. If you haven't been to Joshua Tree National Park, I definitely recommend go and check it out, stay in an Airbnb, and it's really awesome. All right, so I've removed the walkable pathway just to make it easier to focus on only the building, and I just kind of retiled this really quickly just for this video, and it looks like I forgot a tile over there. But here we go, six extra studs. Now to expand this building, an extra six studs this way, as well as an extra six studs this way, I basically had to unstitch this entire wall and add in the extra 1x6 as well as 1x8 bricks right along the backside here as well as over here. And of course I got rid of the sidewalk. I had to disassemble the whole building and shift it over to this corner on the base plate. And on this side of the building it gave me an extra column here. I was able to add an extra window here. And on the second floor here I was able to add an extra window. And of course I did consider making this only two studs here in the middle and then it would end up being three studs here on the sides. But I ended up going with this. Now I really like the Chinese theater theme and I kind of went with it. So here you can see that I've added some dragon heads that come from the Ninjago sets and I've also added the orange lamps which you'll see in the large Ninjago City sets. And another thing I did was to give the building a more modern movie theater feel I went ahead and changed this to teal columns. And I also did it for the sign here and I really love how they came out. Originally this was a pale blue color and swapping in the teal just really makes it come alive and I love it. And I also changed out the lights here to the translucent pyramid pieces and that new Lego Ideas car set came in with a new teal piece which is a one by one brick with a stud on the side and that came in just in time for me to use up there at the very top. <laughs> I literally just noticed that I had the C turned around backwards. All right so I got it fixed now. It now says palace. Um, another thing that I did was I raised this whole sign up by one brick because the E was sitting so low to this that I really don't think anybody would be able to see it from down below. Um, the E would literally just be cut off from their view. Now by raising it up by one brick. It does block this design feature a lot more. And on the left side, I pretty much did the same thing. I've added a tropical tree. I've added plants up here on that top ridge. I've added the orange lights. I've also added the opalescent one by one round tile as well as the glitter pink one by one round tile. And you may notice I added this to the roof up here. This is the elevator. That's right. I added an elevator to my palace cinema and that takes people right up to the rooftop bar. And again on this side with the extra six studs, I had a room for an extra window here and I added the window pane with the dragon on it that I borrowed from a Ninjago set. So mission accomplished. Expanded by six studs. Made it tropical for my tropical Paradisa City. Brightened up the colors with some teal in there, of course. And now let me show you guys the interior. And this is the first floor. And as you can see, I've kept the beautiful black staircase. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and added gold accents along with uh, little opalescent lights that light up the stairway as you go up. And in this corner, we've got the elevator that goes all the way up to the rooftop bar. And one thing I was very excited to add is the red carpet. I'm using the nougat color for the remaining the floor and they've got the red carpet walkway go right up to the staircase here. It also goes up to the elevator and you'll notice that the elevator door had to be elevated and I'm using a 6x8 uh, ramp slope that walks right up there.
there. I've added a lot of indoor plants and I've added a lot of rare exotic indoor plants. You can see some blue leaves and moviegoers can also kick back on this little couch right there. I've added lots of indoor plants up here on the roof and this is where I moved the entire snack and condiment bar and over there are the two movie ticket kiosks. I've added a couple of ovens. One is holding a couple of bagels. I've added a heating oven for pastries. There is cookies and some heart-shaped waffles in there and I've added a coffee machine as well as the popcorn over there in the corner. I've added a refrigerator which holds a couple of food items. I've also added the soft serve ice cream right there and one of my favorite things is the counter bar which is in teal which has the little pink lights on it and is using the 4x4 bow bricks in there and I'm using these spare ground torsos for the employees of the Palace Cinema. For the floor tile I did use some of that pale blue color that originally came with the set and another one of my favorite features for the sliding door of the elevator I'm using those Japanese sliding door panels which you'll find in the Ninjago sets. Because this is in the year 2060 in the future most of the minifigures will be doing the purchasing directly on their phone. I don't even need to talk to anybody. Purchase happens right there on their phone. They're ready to go but just in case there are a couple of kiosks if they just walk up here and they do the touch screen on the glass and using the NFC on their phone the tickets get transmitted to their phone directly. So I've got a kiosk here and here but just in case they need help uh, any staff can come over and help people but there's no longer any cashiers and so these are just remnants of what the origins of the building itself. Now as soon as you walk inside all you got to do is scan your phone to that little computer right there and that's how you get access to the movie theater. So I'm really happy with how the first floor came out. It is a hundred times better than what came in the original and just having that extra six studs enabled me to do all of this and we got the second floor and this is where the movie room is. So one of my main goals with this was to isolate the movie room away from the staircase. In the original set the staircase and the movie room are all just one big open area and my thought was like oh my gosh people coming up the stairs are totally going to disturb the people viewing the movie theater and again that extra six studs it's just amazing that it allowed me to add this wall and still have plenty of room for a walkway. I tiled the entire floor as well as this staircase in a nougat color. I've added this uh, railing here on the bottom with the gold accents. I also have a little opalescent light right there. I've also done the, the staircase going up to the rooftop bar, the handrail in gold. And here is the elevator door. So I'm really excited to use the Japanese sliding door uh, printed panel right there. Also the elevator, they can see outside the elevator through these little windows. So it is, it does have a glass elevator. Now one thing for the movie room is I've added these translucent orange panel pieces and I'd like to get some movie stickers on those. There's one over here in the corner as well. And then I also added a translucent uh, pink window right there. Just give it some movie vibes. And over here is the bathroom. It's just a small little bathroom. It's got a basic sink and a toilet. It also has the uh, transparent orange window right there. But of course, it'll be uh, covered with a movie sticker. Nobody can see inside. And I was able to do theater seating for the seats here. So each aisle of seats gets uh, higher and higher, which is something that was not in the original set. Not only that, but I've doubled the amount of seats that are in here in this movie theater. And one thing I wanted to give a shout out to is these four little sig figs are actually personal friends of mine. I created sig figs of my friends uh, just for giggles. We got Charlie loves snowboarding. We got Kami absolutely loves pastries. And we got my friend Ian who actually has a popular YouTube channel Twigger lol. Knows about playing League of Legends. Go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. We've got Christine PhD professor witty and funny at board games. Today is actually her birthday. Happy birthday Christine. So moving over here this is my movie screen. Now it would have been really awesome to get like say like my phone to drop in there. Maybe that'll be an upgrade I do later in the future so that my phone is actually the movie screen itself. And then for the movie projector, I'm using a red light brick, but this is not the final design. I'm going to swap this out for a for either a brick built projector or or maybe even the light brick that's clear. Uh, at the moment, this is just a placeholder. Now, another thing is over in front of the bathroom uh, is a little area right in front of the, the main window right here. And people can just chill and hang out right here and maybe take their phone calls so they're not disturbing people in the movie theater. Now, this was a bit of a tight squeeze in here, uh, fitting between the movie room and and then also area in between here. I needed just enough room to have a bathroom and of course I needed uh, room for them to walk through in this area as well as not make this too small. I definitely wanted to have the three levels of seats. So this hallway is actually only three studs wide and then in order to get past the elevator corner right here I needed to use the angle piece and you can also see I've added a gold columns on either side of where this movie poster will go just for some palace cinema aesthetics. I'm super stoked how the second floor came out. Everything that I wanted to do for the movie theater room itself. I was able to pull off more seats, elevated seating, uh, its own separate wall, got the elevator in there, got a bathroom. I could not be more happier. All right, my tropical rooftop bar. And just like you saw in my 
Paradisa City Hospital skyscraper. I've added trees up here on the roof. I went ahead and added more tiles to this. This was um, bare studs right there. I wanted to hide all the studs, so I just added some tiles. I really liked adding these, these one by one quarter circle tiles. And then over here to hide the studs here, I just kind of added this cool little, again, quarter circle two by two tiles right there and imitating the original theme using bits of red to carry on the roof coloring theme. And for the elevator tower, I imitated the architecture that was found on the second floor. So these brown windows, as well as the arches, and then the gray stonework up here. And then for the roof, I just kept it relatively simple. So it's a city of the future, everything's energy efficient, it's got its own solar panels. And then up here is where the elevator crank is. And the door for the stairway, I completely redesigned that. I swapped in this glass door with the two bars on it, and it sits a lot more flush. So in the original set, the door was raised up out here, but I made this door flush with the ground. And I've got more of the Hollywood stars up here on the roof. I've got a lot of little cobblestone with little moss and greenery growing in between. I have four sets of tables that line the outside around here. People can just mingle and hang out. And we got some celebrities in the midst of an after after party enjoying some cocktails. We've got our Hollywood photographer right there with the cowboy hat. He comes from the original set. This guy loves heart shaped waffles and also likes to dye his hair green. And he's going to join his two friends over here. And we got these three celebrities over here that are cracking jokes about how huge that glass is. I think it's one of those giant glasses that you can see maybe in Las Vegas uh, and then they set it on flame or something like that. Over here in the corner is where the cocktail bar is and this guy is busy at work making some drinks. I got a little parrot up there in the corner hanging out. And one thing to note is that when I made this expansion I needed four of these arch pieces and Lego hasn't made these pieces in a very long while so I had to get these off of Bricklink and just to keep the party going I added the translucent pink uh, window right there for the elevator. Now for this section of the roof I went ahead and split up the roof and the original pillar was right here and then I added this one as a secondary. Now these are not symmetrical but now I'm thinking maybe I should have done it symmetrical. This length was actually to match this length right here on the roof. So let me know what you guys think. Does it look a little weird that this is not centered between these two roof pieces? And speaking of elevators, I was planning on releasing an elevator build tutorial a few days ago because there was a major storm here in California. I actually had a power outage and it wasn't labeled to upload the video. And then I didn't want it to be too soon before this video. So actually in a couple of days, look forward to me showing off a build tutorial on how to build my elevators. Oh yeah, and here's another one of those Japanese sliding doors. I just love it. And I love how the rooftop bar came out. I think it's the perfect size. I think buildings that take up the full 32 by 32 dimensions are really the perfect size for the minifigures and enables you to get just the right amount of proportions for these poor little guys. I know they live in a very compactified world and I just want to really look out for them and have their best interest at heart. If I lived near a rooftop bar like this, I would be here with my friends all the time having a lot of fun. I've seen other people make huge palace cinemas, but I think this is like the perfect compromise where it's not too big, not too small, and it has just enough of the fun features and details that make it a very cool palace cinema. All right, I hope you guys really liked my tropical palace cinema for my tropical Paradisa City set in the future 2060. Definitely go check out some of those other videos. You're going to learn a lot about what's going to happen in Paradisa City and a lot of the futuristic concepts that I've got going on for that city. Go ahead and leave me some comments. Let me know what you think of what I did to the palace cinema. And I'll go ahead and encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notifications. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Look forward to my elevator tutorial video coming up next. And on that note, I'll catch you guys later.